There are also plenty of other new features which we covered in our iOS 14 review, which you can find in the link in the description. Otherwise, it's the iOS you know and love. Swiping from the left horn or the notch will summon the notification center. And swiping from the right horn calls up the control center, which has customizable toggles. You can also use haptic touch to access additional controls. And the navigation gestures are the same as they have been since the iPhone 10. All in all, a breezy and responsive experience. The snappiness of the interface is thanks in part to the iPhone 12's awesome hardware. It's running on Apple's brand new A14 Bionic chipset, which is built on a 5 nanometer process. It's supposed to offer 50% increased CPU performance over the previous A13 chip, which already was no slouch in benchmark scores. Indeed, the iPhone 12 aces the charts with its peak performance, and is probably the fastest smartphone on the planet right now. GPU scores aren't as huge of an improvement over last year, but the A14 still heads the leaderboards, and games run flawlessly here at maximum settings. Plus, the A14 has a Qualcomm 5G modem on board, so you get 5G network connectivity too. It's sub-6 5G in most places except for the states, where the phone also supports millimeter wave 5G. Powering the iPhone 12 is a 2800 milliamp hour battery, smaller than last year's, and despite the power efficiency of the new chipset, the battery life score has gone down a bit. The iPhone 12 scored an endurance rating of 84 hours in our proprietary tasks. Now onto charging, which is a bit of a sore topic since there's no charger included. We purchased Apple's 20 watt charger for this test, and we were able to charge the iPhone 12 from 0 to 58% in half an hour. There is support for wireless charging too, and with a MagSafe charger, it's supposed to be fast. We weren't too impressed though. From a dead battery, it charged to only 30% in half an hour. Now on to the iPhone 12's dual cameras. It's a similar setup to the iPhone 11's, with a 12 megapixel main camera with LIS, and a 12 megapixel fixed focus ultra wide cam. But this year, you get a slightly wider aperture on the main cam, and the ultra wide has night mode. Daylight photos from the main camera are very